Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna take a look at the new Beta FPV Pavo Pico 2. I remember reviewing the original Pavo Pico, it was, oh my god, for the O3 version. This is the updated O4 version and it comes with two different camera mounts. One is for the O4 Lite and the other for the O4 Pro. So I'm gonna test both cameras so you know which one to choose. In the box you also get an extra set of Genfan 45mm tri-blades, the tools to service the drone and the USB-C adapter to connect to the flight controller. There is also another bag with extra screws, grommets, soft mount and this silicone adapter which I believe goes at the back here so you can use the original O4 Pro antennas. If you want to style your drone you can get the propellers in many different colors and they also make a grey O4 Pro mount. Talking about the drone everything has been redesigned since the last version. The only thing that's the same are the propellers. The plastic frame looks a lot better and is actually quite stiffer than the old one. At the bottom you have a battery tray designed for 2S 550 milliamps. If you want to use different sizes you can cut the tray and use a regular battery strap. The carbon frame is beefier is 1.5 millimeter thick and you can see it is quite wider now it has the holes to support both the O4 Lite and O4 Pro mounting system it still adopts a pusher design but now the propellers are inward spinning the motors look beefier but they have the same spec 1102 14,000 kV they just put bigger magnets in them and they say it has 10% more power and efficiency. The all-in-one F4 flight controller has been upgraded as well. Now it is 2 to 3S 20 amps ESCs. You are supposed to use 2S batteries on this drone because of the motors. It comes with an integrated Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver and a very powerful battery eliminator circuit so even if the voltage gets low your camera will still be powered on. This is essential for this kind of 2S drones because otherwise when you punch the battery sucks and sometimes your camera can shut down. The dry weight of the drone is gonna be 53 grams with the O4 Lite and 78 with the O4 Pro. And boom, let's start with the O4 Pro. Actually, I took the whole assembly from the Pavo 20 Pro. It takes less than one minute, it's just four screws, remove the connector, put the whole assembly on another drone and you are done. I love that they made this mount interchangeable between drones and I hope they make even more drones, maybe a toothpick with the same assembly. They are gonna rival Speedy B. And actually this is a pretty lightweight design, so I'm really in love with it. I'm gonna fly with this 550 milliamps 2S battery, which is the recommended one for this drone, both if you use the O4 Lite or Pro. Boom. <laughs> okay. So, angle mode, it sounds uh, a little bit screechy. I expected uh, less noise from a 78 gram drone, but in uh, angle it's uh, pretty, pretty stable as a cine whoop. I don't see the propellers in view, the prop guards. The camera angle is uh, not super low, it's at like 15, 20 degrees because I took it from the Pavo 20 Pro, which I go a little bit faster with, but still, it's uh, pretty fine. Let's go check on the chicken. Man, they were all around me, they heard the drone, and they went hiding behind the air. When you go a little bit further, you don't hear the drone too much. And uh, we are uh, drawing, wow. I don't know if I can trust the amp meter, but five amps, instantaneous power. Let's put it in acro and let's see if it has jello. Eh, doesn't seem like it has it. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know. The tuning, oh yeah, it feels a little bit loose. Like if you fly stable and you don't do flips and stuff, it's fine. I already did a, a, a trial lap of camera to check if it was working. And uh, that's why I already know how it's going. But yes, it's not the most uh, stable drone I ever seen if you fly acro with this big camera on top. And it's weird that the 40 millimeter propellers, this is a 45, 
I tried the um, sub 250, 1 1.8, and the no 1 1.8, 1 1.6. I don't remember. They have smaller propellers. And the Dark Star 16, uh, yes, 1.6. This is 1.8. And those drones were flying much better, much more power, much better tuned than this one. But I have uh, the feeling that uh, this one is lighter than those one and the propellers are uh, wider. So it's gonna be more efficient if you fly slowly, which probably is the way you're gonna fly this kind of drone. I just wish it wasn't this noisy. I don't know why it makes all of this noise at this uh, low weight. Feels super weird, <laughs> but I, am, uh, I have to scream because the drone is super loud. But we are carrying our 4 Pro on top, so it's a lot of weight for a tiny drone like this. I feel like if you have to carry our 4 Pro, go with the Pavo 20 Pro, it's just a little bit bigger, but somehow it makes, I don't know how, a little bit less noise. It's gonna fly much better. And uh, yeah, this one doesn't have a lot of power. And you have more power on the Power 20 Pro, so I can already tell you this uh, advice. Now I'm curious to know how it's gonna work with the O4 Lite, because I have not seen many, many drones that work great with that uh, camera, so I hope this is one of them. 3 minutes and 50 seconds of flying. It seems to be quite more efficient than the 1.6 inches counterparts from Gepard C and Sub 250. But it makes more noise and the tuning feels a little bit loose. If you fly it stable, probably is a better option than those two, but still I believe a Pavo 20 Pro will do the same if you fly stable and do amazing if you want to push a little bit more. And boom, let's try it with the O4 Lite. Actually, this mount is suspended with soft mounts and it's quite soft because the O4 Pro doesn't usually have too much jello. The O4 Lite is a jello machine and it's been very rare that I have seen it without jello on a drone. I hope this drone is one of them without jello. And I remember the camera assembly from the Pavo Femto, it had jello because they soft mounted the camera directly and not the whole assembly. You may notice that my O4 camera mount is 3D printed and that's because I was supposed to use the original one provided by DJI. But I have uh, taken the O4 Lite from another drone that wasn't provided with that and to mount it on this drone you need the original camera mount with the dual screw setup. So make sure you have it. I will fly with the same battery again to see the differences. Okay, let's start in angle mode. Wow, it feels much floatier, much more silent and a lot more stable. I don't know if I am biased by my own uh, expectations. Oh, we have uh, my girlfriend right here. She went uh, <laughs> getting a package from uh, <laughs> the gate. <laughs> okay. Wow, we have a girlfriend chase today. I really wasn't expecting it because uh, she is supposed to be working from home. Nice, nice, we have a girlfriend chase. <laughs> Come here. Chase the chicken. Wow, this drone is feeling much better than the version with the O4 Pro. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh! <laughs> yeah! It doesn't seem to have any jello. It still doesn't fly perfectly well. But it's one of the best experiences I had with the O4 Lite on a drone. Probably toothpicks have been a little bit better tuned, but this is pretty close. And it's probably the best uh, Cinewhoop, Tiny Whoop style drone I have tested with the O4 Lite. So, very good job, uh, BTFPV. Now, 
I am not a fan of the fact that you have to use the original camera assembly from DJI because there is no way to use uh, a wide angle uh, filter on it, which I have grown uh, quite fond of because uh, it's much more uh, nice flying with the wide angle. But if you fly four thirds like I do and then you stabilize in post, it's still pretty fine. Now I hope. Uh, I didn't activate um, the rock steady stabilization because otherwise I won't be able to use gyroflow, but seems to be quite nice. Wait. Yeah. I'm just gonna roll it if it's activated. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's active because uh, I, I see. Oh wow, look at the. What the hell are all these holes down here? I guess we have uh, molds in the garden or something, wow. But this drone feels quite nice on this, uh, on this camera. Uh, it's not uh, precise. When you do maneuvers, it uh, dirt. It makes them dirty. Like for example, I was doing this and it applied throttle when I was not expecting or giving it. So still, the tune on this drone, I am, uh, I am not entirely convinced by it. Sometimes it uh, has a mind of its own. But if you fly slowly, it's fine. And you don't have jello. So I'm gonna still say it's the best uh, tiny whoop without full light I have tried, tested. Not the best flying, but the best overall. Because uh, not having jello, it's a big part of it. I have seen better flying ones, but with jello. And uh, I don't know. I prefer working on the tune a little bit more after I try the drone and uh, bring it, bringing it closer to what I want to see. Because if it has jello, it's really hard to make it go away. Oh! Battery life uh, seems... Uh, ah, okay. It's time to land. 435. Maybe I have pushed a little bit more, but I was expecting 5-6 minutes with uh, quite 20 grams less of weight. And it's time for my final opinion on the Beat FPV Pavo Pico 2. If you want to use our 4 Pro on this drone, most probably you are better off with a Pavo 20 Pro from the get-go, because it's still stable, it's still small to fly indoors, but if you go outdoors it will have a ton more power, it flies perfectly and it's just a better drone all around, better suited to carry this big camera. Or even the Gepard C Darkstar 22 is a good option, it will be slightly bigger, slightly heavier, but also slightly more powerful than this one. On the other hand, if you want to use the O4 light camera, I feel like this is the best experience I had with a tiny whoop style drone. Not because it's the best flying of them all, it can be a little bit loose if you start pushing harder and sometimes it acts on its own and it applies throttle when you're not expecting. But if you fly slower, cine whoop style and you don't push it too hard, you will not notice too many of the shortcomings. And actually, it's a decent experience. It is smooth, silent and efficient. The reason why I say it's the best is because this is probably the first one I have seen with no jello. And fixing jello is much harder than fixing the tuning. So if you're looking for a tiny whoop to put your O4 light into, this can be a nice option. And that's all for today. As always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this drone and which camera do you think is better on this. If you want to buy something, check out the links down below because clicking on them, you help this channel a lot and many times you also find discounts. Thank you so much, stay safe and happy flying. Bye!